What's up, Divine Feminine Earth Signs? So, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun Signs, Divine Feminine. I am Austria of Unbother Queen. And today I'll be giving you a general divine message in regards to love here. Alright, for Divine Feminine. Alright, and this will be for the second week of July through the second week of August. Alright. Please keep in mind that the time frame is only for me. And whenever you see this message, that is when you're meant to see it. Okay? Clear concise messages, please, Spirit. Clear concise messages, please. Okay. Alright, so... We have ego vanity and pride all right we also have action courage jupiter and beginnings and that is sagittarius's energy jupiter all right we also have thoughts isolating and we have seeds at the bottom as well as celebration, gifts, and abundance. So you could have um, planted some seeds that are going to bring you abundance here. All right, you could have planted some seeds in the spring that was going to bring you some abundance um, in the upcoming months. All right, I just saw a main woman. So some of you could be in a possible third-party situation or feel like you are. Always believe your intuition, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get the past, current, and future energy. And this will be the recent past and near future here, okay? And then we're going to go in and figure out what part you and your person that's most prevalent on your mind plays in that. All right. All right. All right, so we have control. It says, I want to feel in control than to lose myself in love. All right. All right, and then we have inner conflict at the bottom. My world is chaotic right now. I can't seem to think straight. And it says, awaken love. Now I know and understand that I am in love with you. Yeah, some sort of ending could possibly be on the horizon here, but you could be going back and forth with yourself because you feel like you are very much so in love with this person. So let's see your person's energy. It looks like a lot of passion in the past, but let's see um, your person's energy here. Um, your energy, your person's energy here, and then we'll get your challenges with that person, okay? All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles here. This was your energy, and this is Aries um, as well as um, Taurus here. So you could be in, um, have those in your placements, okay? Or you could be a Taurus. Um, it looks like you're you were wanting to move slowly here in this connection. Um, and your person was in a place where they wanted some sort of decision or clarity on where you guys stood, maybe. And there seems um, the sun in the reverse is where you guys ended up. So there was some sort of impulsivity here. Or someone couldn't really um, have lack of faith in the union. Yeah, I had lack of faith in the union here. They could have felt like you were looking at other options or this could have been your energy. You could have felt this way about them in regards to making a decision to be with you, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get a little bit more clarification here. Why was uh, Divine Feminine wanting to move slowly? Why did Divine Feminine want to move slowly here, Spirit? All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so you were comfortable. You know, um, a lot of you guys are comfortable in your own skin here. You were also okay with, um, you were secure in who you were. You enjoyed being single for a lot of you. Um, and you were kind of focused on your money here. Yeah, with, with the 
emperor card aries energy again so some of you guys could definitely have that in your places or you could be dealing with an aries um but yeah this is definitely a sense of like you were really in a place where you were trying to control the relationship here by you know kind of determining how it went or the pace in which it went okay yeah and it was keeping it was keeping it stagnant here it, it was keeping it stagnant and this and it you know this person just met you with a lot of fucking resistance here why did they want clarity so bad why did they want clarity so bad why did their person want clarity so bad okay all right we have the five of cups here they wanted to know if you wanted them or not you know, they wanted to know if this was going to be something that they were going to be able to move forward with, or was this something that they needed to step away from because they were unsure. They were unsure where this was going and they didn't know how to take it. Because it's like, if I'm single, I'm going to do single shit. If I'm not, then we can move forward. Yeah, they didn't know whether or not you needed to move forward or, you know, if there was going to be a disconnection here or not. And they were very impatient, too. They wanted to hurry up and, and, and be something. All right. All right. So it was like, you already know why there was unhappiness if it's all of this. So we're not going to clarify those cards. All right, and then we have divine timing here in your current moment. It says, trust the perfection of divine timing. So things happening as they should, you know? And that's probably why ego and vanity and pride was there because that's that space that you could have been in. All right, so give me um, divine feminine energy and then give me their person's energy and the challenges they're facing during this current moment. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we have the Six of Swords here. So your energy, it's like you're ready now. You're ready to move forward with this person. Um, you're letting go of the control that you once had, and you're ready to move forward with them. And this person wants that new beginning with you, Aquarius, Aries energy. All right. And let's see what this challenge is. Challenge is the Ace of Wands here. So it's kind of a sense of letting go, having confidence in this relationship and letting go of what happened in the past and just moving in your present moments. That's the challenge that you're facing at this time. Yeah, healing it, healing it and, and getting out of your head and also being open about the things that you fear, the insecurities that you have in this relationship so that you can progress naturally. Ugh. Naturally, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to give me a six of swords here. Six of swords. What is the six of swords here, sir? Why, why did you find feminine decide to, to move forward with this person now? All right, because they because you left them. Ace of Cups, you left them. You love them, you want to be with them, you want to move forward with them. Yeah, you feel like they deserve this opportunity. They deserve a clean slate. They deserve not to um, take on the burden of love from your past here. Okay, what's the Ace of Wands? Why is the Ace of Wands a challenge, Spirit? Why is the Ace of Wands a challenge? All right, we have the Empress card in the reverse here. Okay, so someone is still in an emotional imbalance. Um, they could even be jealous about something um, that happened in the past here they're not over something someone isn't over something and this could be your child's parent um as well if this is like a third party situation you could be having issues with your child's parent here or you could be having issues with your person's um parent child's parent that's keeping you guys from really moving forward here yeah eight of wands in the reverse yeah it, it's something happened with someone else and this person 
it, it need this needs to be healed before you guys can really move forward and also look up the spirit number 10 and 10 um it really needs to be healed before you guys can move forward because this person um does not feel their regular self you could be dealing with a libra or a taurus here the empress or an aquarius yeah uh six of wands here in the magician card yeah this is you're wanting to transform this connection but this person is not completely um and this could also be your energy that something happened in the past and you're like not completely sure about how you are going to move forward with this person like because of some i'm getting like uh, like sex with someone else or for some of you like someone was in another relationship but it was like well we weren't really in a relationship type of energy all right definitely let me know about that shit in the comments because i'm nosy as hell and i want to know all right let's go ahead and see here all right we have work i'm focusing on work to have more financial stability all right so someone is throwing a lot into work at this time all right uh in the near future here and i'm really getting a strong sense that it's because they're trying to not heal this this here all right so let me know why work is here spirit why work is here for divine feminine their person and the challenge all right all right, so we have the Seven of Wands here. All right, so this is definitely um, a sense of pride here, resilience, confidence here. Okay. The Four of Swords in the reverse. Aloof, distant. This is your person's energy. Exhausted here. This is the person that's throwing all their shit in, into work. Your person's energy, okay? And then we have the Three of Cups. And the challenge is being on the same page again, fully reconciling from this past energy in the near future. Like I said, you need to heal this shit. You need to heal this shit before you can move on. All right, yeah, something is imbalanced, temperance in the reverse. This is all about stagnation, confusion, not sure how to move forward here. This person could feel like they're not sure if you even love them, okay? And we know that that's not true, so something needs to happen to be able to reassure them because their thoughts and how they're isolating themselves to run around it okay all right why is divine feminine being so defensive why are they why do they have this inner conviction here why are they feeling the need to assert themselves here what honor are they defending all right all right so the hermit came in the reverse here something was revealed Something that you did was reveal the Virgo energy. Something came out here. Yeah, something came out about something that did not end or something that was not completely over here. Um, some Something that made this person um, feel abandoned or that, uh, that stopped this situation. Um, for some of you, um, and this is so sad, but for some of you, um, it could have been the loss of a child here. And then the the page of swords here in the reverse. Um, it could have been a child that would have been an air sign here for some. For others, this is a sense of, mm, how can I say this? This person could have felt like you were very um, self-centered and you were playing mind games at some point. And you're kind of trying to defend yourself and say like i'm not i'm not doing that anymore though all right mm -hmm. yeah it's like you're wanting to move forward here with this book but, but this person isn't allowing you to why is this person distant why is this person distant throwing themselves into work all right yeah they learned something that fucked up their shit aries energy here tower card in the reverse they learned something that really fucked them up here. And it, it caused them to um, to set you guys back here and really um, shake up your foundation. Page of Pentacles here in the reverse is, is showing that this wasn't, this isn't working. This isn't moving forward here. You know, this person has a lack of drive to come towards, you know, to, to fix this union because 
they feel like it's, it's not working anyway. They're seeing things in a different perspective here. And them seeing things in a different perspective are, are leading them to overwork themselves because they don't feel comfortable in this relationship anymore because they feel like they can't really trust you. And they can't really nurture this relationship like they once had. And they could have felt also that you are avoiding situations, um, avoiding talking about situations in the past. All right, why is the Three of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Three of Cups here? Ten of Pentacles. This is all about your union with this person. Yeah, someone is closed off about things in the past. That needs to be talked about. That needs to be dealt with. With the Nine of Wands, it's like you could have not told this person about some, some stuff in the past and now they're finding it out now. Now they're holding it against you. Yeah. And you guys are trying to fight through it, but it's it's tough you know because once you lose that um respect or um it's like once you lose that that sense of respect for someone it's like always lost all right spirit what signs are um divine feminine possibly dealing with during this time my music went off, you guys. <laughs> All right, we have Neptune here, Pisces energy. We also have Air, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And we have Sagittarius here, as well as Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, um, definitely let me know what's going on in this situation. Thank you so much for your love and support. And I send it back to you guys tenfold. Bye.